Bonnie Meltzer, and I led the most wonderful workshop this summer uh, here in Vancouver. And I call it the common thread because 30 artists worked on this common thread. They all worked, they crocheted around these kinds of big old fuzzy yarns all at the same time. We started out with 75 feet of this stuff that was graciously donated by Pendleton Woolen Mills. And we were all attached and we all worked at the same time. Well, I didn't work, I kind of guided people and they did the most wonderful things. It was total chaos. There were 30 people and it was a, for about six hours. They kind of came and went. And what was happening is all of a sudden, out of chaos, people started working together. They started saying, well, what are you doing? What colors are you doing? I think we need more blue over here. I think we need, I think we need a bit of red. It was so wonderful. So the common thread is really twofold. It is the common thread of the actual thread. And I'm gonna put up some thread over here, coming on these giant balls. But it is also the common thread of a community. These people work together. And Arts of Clark County put this together with the Historic Trust. And it is so exciting free workshops to see people coming together, having a creative experience, and seeing the results. I just, I just love the textures, which of course comes from the penalty pool, but it also comes from the leaps of fantasy and the leaps of creativity that the artists who were participating took. I'm going to just show you what it's like to crochet with this big old thing. It's kind of crazy, you know, you, everybody thinks of crochet as kind of, I don't know what they think of it as, not kind of boring, but you can see that it is not boring. But you can see also that you can get something pretty quickly. Well, but this took 30 people an entire day. This is being auctioned off so we can have these kinds of experience next year for the Common Ground Festival. Artists need to be paid for their time and their expertise and for materials. And so the auctioning off of this piece is to pay for next year's workshops. And from all the reports that I've heard, people love this piece, they love working on it, and they really did find a common ground for this community and a common thread running through the community.